Put yourself in a not too distant future for a few moments. The governments of this world announce with concern the imminent impact of a two kilometer wide asteroid. If the chunk hits Earth, vast swaths of human life and possibly our entire civilization will be wiped out forever. Efforts and experiments are underway worldwide to ensure that just that does not happen. In 2022, NASA successfully deflected an asteroid from its orbit for the first time, and we're about to show you how. Stay tuned, because this topic concerns us all. Save the world in a hurry. It sounds like an adventure from movies or a blockbuster. Let's save the world quickly. But that's exactly what NASA may have already done. On behalf of and thanks to funds from international sponsors, the space agency was able to send a probe into space for the first time with only one mission, to push an asteroid out of its orbit. Send off Asteroid Fighting Probe. To that end, the DART probe struck the asteroid Dimorphos with full force on September 26, 2022. The experiment succeeded, though further tweaks are still needed. The Horror Scenario If a major asteroid strikes Earth, not only would the impact area be immediately destroyed, our entire civilization could be slowly doomed by the consequences of the catastrophe. Violent tsunamis, fires, dust, and toxins in the atmosphere, as well as inestimable chain reactions from further natural disasters, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, that could destroy us just as the Chicxulub asteroid once did to the dinosaurs. Years ago, international experts, as well as the governments of the world, decided it was time to launch a safe and global asteroid defense program. Only, how do you effectively protect against asteroids? Asteroids are not only dangerous, but also insidious. They can appear out of nowhere or suddenly change their orbit due to cosmic events. In the worst case, we would know of impending catastrophe only a few weeks or months before an impact. To avoid this, researchers around the world meticulously monitor all known asteroids and comets in Earth's vicinity around the clock. Every little change of orbit is checked and in case of emergency, NASA issues an asteroid warning. Three times there was such a warning in the last 20 years, and three times we were lucky, because the chunks from the universe miss the Earth, then, nevertheless, by several 10,000 kilometers. In the long run, we cannot rely on this luck. We must act. Worldwide experts agreed. In asteroid defense, there are only two feasible ways. The chunks must be forced out of their orbit or towed. DART hit Dimorphos. The DART probe had launched from a spaceport in California in November 2021 with a sure mission of destruction. After nearly 10 months of flight, DART approached the mini asteroid Dimorphos at a speed of more than 20,000 kilometers per hour. Cheers erupted at NASA's control center as images showed the spacecraft inexorably approaching the asteroid and suddenly the screen went dark. DART had hit its target. The 570 kilogram probe released forces of several tons of TNT on impact, blasting a 150-meter-wide crater into the asteroid. This was the first attempt to actively alter the trajectory of a celestial body. Initially, the success of the orbit deflection was unknown. Scientists had to wait until the huge dust cloud caused by the impact settled, and then the first measurements of the new orbit could be taken. For this unique experiment in space, the scientists chose an asteroid that was at a safe distance from Earth, 11 million kilometers. Dimorphos's orbit does not cross that of the Earth, so there was no risk that the experiment could result in the asteroid impacting the Earth. Dimorphos is part of a double asteroid. Its big brother, Didymus, measures a full 760 meters. Researchers are taking advantage of the special constellation of the two to see results as quickly as possible. Dimorphos orbits its big brother like a moon and normally takes about 12 hours to do so. Based on the new orbital period, 
the deviation caused by the bombardment could be determined very quickly and easily. From the Earth, also the orbits of sporadically flying asteroids can be calculated. However, the researchers need here substantially longer around minimum orbit deviations to determine. A dangerous asteroid does not have to be deflected far. It has to be deflected skillfully, and the deviation has to be exactly right so that in an emergency the chunk will safely end up on an orbit that does not intersect with that of the Earth. Images of the Impact Of course, DART was not supposed to just hit the surface and then disappear forever. To observe the impact as well as possible, the Italian Space Agency contributed its own probe to this important experiment. The Italian CubeSat for Imaging of Asteroids, or Lycia Cube for short, followed DART at a distance of just a few kilometers. From a distance of just under 57 kilometers, the satellite provided stunning images of the impact. The images, published by the Italian Space Agency, Agenzia Speciale Italiana, or ASI, a few hours after the impact, show dimorphous before and after the impact. You can see clear differences in brightness, as well as a cloud of swirled up material. On board the CubeSat were two cameras, with the beautiful names Luke and Leia. The reference to the Star Wars Skywalker twins was not entirely coincidental here, of course. Leia stands for Lycia Cube Explorer, imaging for asteroid. The camera system took higher resolution black and white images, while the Lycia Cube Unit Key Explorer, Luke, also took color photos of the spectacle as a wide angle camera. These will provide important multicolor analysis of the asteroid, according to ASI. The event was additionally observed through large telescopes on Earth, and the best images were provided by the South African Astronomical Observatory. How successful was DART? With trepidation, the world awaited the first evaluations of the success of the orbit shift. NASA wanted to shorten Dimorphos' orbital period of 11.921473 hours by about 10 minutes. In fact, the impact shortened the orbital period by 33 minutes, plus or minus 20 seconds. At first, this sounds great. After all, the impact was obviously even more successful than assumed. But practically, this also poses a danger that should not be underestimated. If a probe pushes a potentially dangerous asteroid too far out of its orbit, this can lead to further problems. Experts attribute the uncertainty in estimating the impact to a lack of knowledge about Dynamis's surface structure. The good news is that DART's force was apparently much stronger than anticipated. This could make it easier to push even larger asteroids out of their orbits in the future. Nevertheless, further questions about the exact composition and processes surrounding the impact of deflection probes urgently need to be clarified. Particular focus is being placed on aspects, such as materials that were stirred up by the impact and even gases that were produced or released during the impact. The Deep Impact Mission Maybe you think now, wait a minute, there was already a probe that crashed into an asteroid. Yes, you are absolutely right. In 2005, a NASA probe was launched to explore Comet Temple 1. The mission consisted of a spacecraft reaching the comet and releasing an impactor that was intentionally crashed into the comet. However, the goal of the deep impact mission was not to deflect the comet from its orbit, rather, the impact was intended to expose the comet's interior to gather data of its composition. The impactor struck the comet at a much slower velocity than had been the case with DART and Dimorphos. The probe crashed into the surface at only about 10 kilometers per second. The collision released material from the comet's interior and kicked up a large amount of dust and debris. For several days, the particles and debris formed an impressive comet tail. The main spacecraft observed the process from a safe distance and collected much-needed data on the comet's impact and composition. Ultimately, it was also thanks to the groundbreaking success of the Deep Impact mission that scientists and engineers around the world ventured to construct DART, 
and there will surely be more experiments of this kind in the future. Push out of orbit or tow away? DART became a complete success at NASA, despite the severe deviation in orbital displacement. The probe had safely hit the comparatively small asteroid and pushed it out of orbit. This is a promising start, proving that this form of asteroid defense can be successful. In terms of accuracy in orbit deflection, scientists and engineers see only a solvable question of time. Experts worldwide are currently working on yet another system for effective asteroid defense. The second idea involves taking an asteroid in tow and thus pulling it out of its potentially dangerous orbit. This would require one or two probes using harpoons to establish a solid connection with the asteroid and then using powerful thrusters to slowly pull it out of orbit. Work is already underway on probes that will be able to do this, and we look forward to hopefully sharing more impressive images of such a successful mission with you in the not-too-distant future. Another very similar technique envisions pushing asteroids out of orbit. Even with this variant, the probe would not be doomed to a certain demise. We may even have reusable asteroid defense probes that return to Earth after their missions and fly out again if needed to quickly save the world. How likely is an impact? There are different opinions about how endangered we are on Earth right now. There are millions of asteroids in our solar system and the dangerous thing about them is that we may not even see them. Asteroids do not produce light, and some of them are made of materials that absorb light and therefore do not reflect sunlight. Such chunks could also suddenly appear on our cosmic doorstep. Unexpected impacts such as the 20-meter chunk that exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk on February 15, 2013, and the near impact of a 10-meter asteroid over the Chinese city Urumqi on May 23, 2021, show that we on Earth can expect nasty surprises from space at any time. As for all currently known asteroids near Earth, the all-clear has been given. None of the larger asteroids will come close enough for an impact in the next 100 years. We hope you enjoyed the video and were able to gain a fascinating insight into the evolution of asteroid defense. Finally, tell us how you feel about the DART mission. Do you think we'll be safe from asteroids on Earth in the future?